It's alive. <laughs> When's the last time you saw a 63 Beetle take off in third gear? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> That's so awesome. Let's check out. <laughs> Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Tech Motoring. Paul here with a really cool episode. We got Kevin here from Revamped EV and he is going to be showing us today his 63 Volkswagen Beetle conversion here to electric. So we're going to dive in today. We're going to take a look at the car, take it for a quick ride. And then in the future, we're going to be doing a much bigger video. We're going to be diving really into everything he's done with the car. So let's jump in and take a look. All right, so driving the uh, the bug for the first time. This is gonna be really, really cool. So, so let's go over a couple of things real quick. We're gonna have a further, a bigger video on this a little bit in the future. But so you still retain the the manual transmission, so we still have a clutch pedal. But we only need the clutch pedal if we're moving and we want to move gears. But you're used to just keeping it like second or third, right? Right. Okay. So right now we are in third gear, you said? Yep. Okay. So the way you have this set up is, I'll just hold the brake just to have it, take off the e-brake. And then this knob right here is the knob for putting it into gear. So one click out was... Drive. That's drive, right? Yep. All right. So once we do that, brake is off and that's really it, right? Yeah. All right. Gas pedal. And here we go. Throttle. Accelerator. Throttle. Accelerator. Whatever, whatever you call it, the pedal on the right now. Anything that's not the gas pedal, the go pedal. That is awesome. First time actually in the Beetle for me. First time driving, obviously, a Beetle. And it's electric one. <laughs> is your first time ever driving a Beetle? Oh, yeah. I've never driven a Beetle before. Oh, man. We don't even have a comparison for you, though. No, we don't. Modern or old, I've never driven a Beetle before. Well, this is way better. Yep. All right. that that's that's so cool it's so awesome to hear that there's like it's so <laughs> quiet and so we do have some off-pedal regen now how do you have that set up is it like fully regen right now or is it as far as like the percentage it'll yeah do, like or? is this as far as it goes or? no so uh, i think we have it set up at 35 percent 35 uh, okay. power. yeah so you can go quite a bit more you can go less um 35 is pretty comparable to say driving like a tesla Right. Um, and especially in second gear. In third gear, it's a little less noticeable just because of the gear ratios. Yep, yep. Um, but second gear is pretty comparable to, um, at 35%, a average Tesla. How do you have the uh, the Hyper 9 like tuned right now? Is it will it allow for full 100% on the Hyper 9, or do you have it tuned down a little bit? No, it's got full power. It's, so it has the potential for full power. Yep. Okay. Yeah, I mean it feels pretty good. What's the Hyper 9 rated at for horsepower? It's like 120 ish, um, and then like 170, 180 torque. 180 torque. Something yeah, like that's that. that's pretty good. I mean, it feels very like similar to like, like the Fiat, you know, my Fiat sure. there, because it's you know lightweight, small. Why don't you try putting it in second? All right, let's do that. All right, so you prefer clutch, yeah, good, right? Good point. This uh, shifter is a little tricky. Yeah. Second. Okay. So there you go. Second gear. We can get off the clutch whenever we want because there's nothing spinning. Put it in gear. <laughs> different animal in second gear. It is a different animal in second gear. You definitely feel the regens a little bit more yep. grabby in second. Wow. I can't wait to get this out onto like a road road mm -hmm. where we can like really drive it. But this is just like a quick teaser video of the car and we're going to do a more in-depth 
uh, video with Kevin in the future and obviously talk about the ins and outs, everything he's done to the car. Once we get back to the house, we'll kind of lift the hood and the, the, the trunk there and take a look at some of the stuff you've done. But I mean, other than that, we just wanted to kind of give you a short teaser of the 63 Beetle EV conversion here. This is so cool. So nice. <laughs> That's so good. All right, everybody, welcome back. So once again, you may remember Kevin from previous videos and his father, Ed. Hey, Ed, how you doing? <laughs> <laughs> but you remember Kevin from some previous videos uh, from a revamped EV. And so this is his project car that he's been working on for about uh, two years now, roughly, uh, Yeah. give or take. So uh, we're gonna take a quick look over at the car today. And then, like I said, we're gonna have a, a much longer video in the future, kind of diving into everything. He literally just finished the cars as far as he can get it done uh, for right now until his wedding comes up next week. So uh, let's, let's dive in and take a look a, bit, uh, a little bit more into the car. So Kevin, go ahead and take it away. Just talk a little bit about the car and then we'll, we'll start looking at all the under the hood stuff. Yeah, so it's a 1963 Volkswagen Beetle, obviously. It is a uh, sedan, not a convertible. Um, originally came with a, I believe it was a 1600 CC uh, flat four. Um, but now has a net gain Hyper 9. So I guess we can start from the back and work our way forward. Yeah, let's go to the back. Let's take a look at what used to be the, the original uh, four-cylinder Volkswagen motor here is now is a little bit different. So yep. tell us a little bit about what you've done back here. So it's a net gain Hyper 9. This is not the high voltage, it's the standard 100 voltage nominal. About 114 volts nominal on this vehicle, but yeah, mates right up to the factory transmission, the factory four speed in there, um, still has a clutch, um, still have a clutch pedal, so you can shift gears. Basically, in this car now, you just pick your gear and set it. Um, second or third gear is where it's happiest, um, but drives like a regular electric vehicle now. Well, let's dive under the hood real quick. Let's take a look at some of the, uh, some of the modules that you used. So we use Tesla Model S slash X, uh, 18650 battery modules, just five of them. There is two in this battery box up here, and there's three in the battery box behind the rear seat. Um, you won't really see the one in the rear seat, but you will yep. see the one up front. So got the plexiglass, you can see the module underneath. Yeah, there. I love that. Get a close up of this to see all the individual cells there inside the module. It's really, really cool to be able to see that stuff. As you can see, we also have the J1772 here yep. as well. In case anybody's wondering why we didn't put it in the gas door on the cars, because doesn't 63 have doesn't have a gas door. You actually filled up in underneath the hood, correct? That's right, yeah. Yeah, so just basically putting that exactly where it was previously. And obviously we can see some of the other components as well. So you have your uh, your DC to DC and- On the right-hand side, yep. So that's yep. an Elcon DC to DC. So that takes the high voltage, steps it down to 12 volts and powers a low voltage system on the car. It's still a 12 volt car. Um, and then on the left-hand side here, we have a Thunderstruck 2500 charger. So that is the onboard car charger. Awesome. Well, I mean, this looks fantastic. The car drives really well. I mean, yeah, really awesome, Kevin. Thank you so much for, uh, well, for one thing, you know, tagging me along on this. You know, <laughs> even though I didn't, I didn't do any work on the car itself. It really feel like that's uh, a lie. You, know, you were you were here on more than one occasion working on. I, it. Yeah, well, you know, we did the one road trip and picked up one of the one of the, the beam, parts right? for the car. Let's, yeah, let's the front call it beam. the beam for uh, that is Valley Auto Works in Virginia. Yep. Awesome uh, crew up there. Um, small shop. They specialize in Volkswagens. They built a custom two-inch narrowed beam for this car um, with struts and works phenomenally. So if you ever need anything for your Volkswagen custom needs, Valley Auto Works in Virginia. Phenomenal. Yeah, and I'll, I'll link our road trip up there in case you're interested to see that. We took uh, Kevin's Model Y and drove all the way up to Virginia and back in one day just yes. to pick up that one piece for this car. <laughs> and uh, yeah, just it's always an adventure. It's always something fun. But now it's starting to come to an end and now you're going to be able to actually drive the car around right. and actually have fun with it. So, right. and uh, you know, we're really looking forward to future videos with this car. Like I said, this was going to just be a little bit of a teaser video for this car, just to kind of um, just show what can be done in the aftermarket of vehicles, including classic vehicles like this 63 Beetle. Kevin, thank you so much for 
Absolutely, Paul. Doing this video with me. This is so, so fantastic, and I'm really looking forward to cruising around in this car That's coming right. this winter no time. Kidding. It's going to be fantastic. Anyway, I'd like to thank all of you for watching. If you like the video, make sure you hit the like button below, subscribe to the channel, because we're going to do more videos on this particular vehicle, and maybe some other ones that you might jump into in the future. That's right. And we'll talk more about revamped EVs also in that video as well, so we could talk about what you do as far as revamped EVs as a company and what you're planning to do in the future. Yeah. Sound good? Looking forward to it. Awesome. Thanks, everybody, again, for watching. Remember, welcome to the future. Welcome to Tech Motoring. We'll see you on the next one.